during my time in London, I got to really immerse myself in British culture, seeing the highest quality of football in the entire world, the English Premier League. So I saw Aston Villa play West Ham in London at the London Stadium. And yeah, my first Premier League game is an experience I will never forget. So it started off by us going to West Ham and we went to a pub for a pregame meal. And uh, let me tell you, it was kind of crazy that there was security outside only letting West Ham supporters in. I'm not a West Ham supporter myself, but I was wearing West Ham merch because I was rooting for them in that match. And you could already get a sense of the true British pub culture before a football match right in this pub. So afterwards, we headed straight to the London Stadium. And it's a very nice stadium, but it has a bit of an American feel because it's a multi-purpose stadium. It's one that was built on kind of empty land. A lot of the stadiums in Europe, for example, Stamford Bridge, where Chelsea play, Craven Cottage, where Fulham play, the stadium is built literally within a community. Like there are homes like 50 feet away from the end of the stadium. London Stadium, very, very different because here, baseball, MLB games have been played here. You've held the Olympics. There have been so many different sporting events here. So it's a multi-purpose stadium, but that doesn't diminish its quality. You go inside, and it's a very, very nice stadium. 50,000 seat capacity, I believe. You have this kind of like roof that, it's not really a roof, but it covers the supporters, but it doesn't cover the field. So you still get a full outside atmosphere feeling. And then you walked around and it was concessions. And it reminded me very much of like an American football stadium. American, like American, American football. Before I continue, make sure to subscribe because I am literally traveling the world in 2024. Guatemala, El Salvador, the Balkans, Scandinavia, and so much more. You don't want to miss it. When we actually went to the actual match, we were sitting in the supporter section. Which, yeah, that is kind of crazy. Us, as foreigners, being able to get tickets into the supporter section. So, it wasn't a supporter section like you really think about. Like, when I think of supporter section, I think of the crazy ultras in South America. I think of, even in Major League Soccer, how loud the supporter section gets. West Ham, it didn't feel like it was a true supporter section. It felt like the whole stadium was a supporter section, and that... The real West Ham supporter section was just fans that were screaming and cursing and being all upset at their players and the ref the entire time. There wasn't any really of the singing, the dancing, except for the bubble song. Yeah, besides that, there wasn't really that much. So I was kind of surprised. Being a big Atlanta United supporter in Major League Soccer, I really think that an MLS atmosphere is actually higher than West Ham. I'm talking about the best atmospheres in Major League Soccer. Atlanta United, LAFC, Seattle Sounders, FC Cincinnati, so forth, St. Louis. I could just go on. Uh, but yeah, and besides that, it was a really fun game. Keep in mind, this was just a few months after Argentina won the World Cup. So Emmy Martinez, uh, Argentina's keeper, was in net for Aston Villa. So that was really cool being able to see the recent World Cup champion playing in that match. And it ended up being a 1-1 draw. One of the goals was scored right in front of us. And uh, the Aston Villa supporters were on the opposite end of the stadium. And the second that ball went in the net, the whole stadium was silent, except for that one section where they were going wild and you could hear them everywhere. The West Ham goal was scored on a penalty, right here. Yeah!
So it didn't really feel like that exciting because there wasn't that buildup of a play. It was a nice penalty. Uh, he almost got it over the bar. But yeah, it was still exciting though to see the West Ham fans kind of go, you know, get loud when that goal was scored. So overall though, my first Premier League game, yeah, I'm not gonna forget because it was my first time being at like a true top division football game besides my games in Major League Soccer. And yeah, if you are in England, if you're a football fan or you're a sports fan in general, make sure you get to a Premier League match. You're not gonna regret it. 